Hi, it's Terry Verts. Given the plight that we are all in, I've been thinking a lot about the parallels between self-quarantining down here on Earth and life on the International Space Station, where I spent over seven months. So let's take a look at some of the similarities and some of the differences and see which is better, Earth in quarantine or space. I'll keep score. First, and most importantly, let's talk about food. The food in space isn't really that bad. Actually, it's pretty good. But the food on Earth is much better. The canned food and soup is about the same, but the fresh food is definitely better on Earth. And the restaurants are for sure too, even if they're takeout only. Advantage Earth. Let's talk about work. My life during the era of the virus has been spent right here in front of my laptop. In space, at least you have different tasks to do, like maintenance, experiments, exercise, etc. All day long. Advantage space. Sleeping. Again, no comparison. Earth isn't bad, but my sleep in space is the best I've ever had. I loved closing my eyes with headphones on and listening to sounds from Earth, like rain or music. I listened to the Interstellar soundtrack every night for a month. Advantage, space. The bathroom. This one's a little bit complicated. Under normal circumstances, it's much easier to let gravity do all the work for you like it does down here on Earth. But in space, at least we had all the supplies we needed. Advantage, space. On the space station, Mission Control used to uplink one channel at a time, usually news or sports, whenever we had a good connection with the comm satellites. But down here on Earth, it's definitely better. Advantage, Earth. Photography, no contest, even when there's no quarantine. The books are definitely better here. Advantage, Earth. Supplies, this one is a close call. During my seven months in space, I always had enough supplies, though I did have to ration some of them during my Expedition 42 and 43 mission. Because we lost three cargo ships, when a SpaceX Dragon, a Progress, and a Cygnus all blew up back to back to back. This meant a loss of important hardware and other more personal things, like underwear and extra chocolate. Though, recently, down here on Earth, lots of supplies have gotten scarce too. Have I mentioned yet? People, seriously, stop hoarding the toilet paper. Advantage, I'm gonna call this one a push. All kidding aside, folks, this is a very serious situation and we are in this fight together. This is truly the first time in human history that every person on earth can come together against a common enemy, the coronavirus. It is time to put aside our differences, stop blaming others, and focus on fighting this thing together. Remember that we are all on the same team, no matter what country you're from. If we remain united, the future for all of humanity will be much brighter than it has ever been before. Good luck and have fun in quarantine. Hey guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.